here in Camarillo, California, and we're at the Vitesse headquarters. I'm sitting here with CTO Martin Nuss. Martin, thanks for taking the time today. Glad to have you here. Now, give me your thoughts on the MEF Third Network Initiative. The MEF, the Metro Ethernet Forum, um, CE Carry Ethernet 2.0 specifications, really now the standard specifications on how carrier Ethernet services are being delivered to customers, how they're specified, what their characteristics is. And the familiar uh, service concept like E-Line service, E-LAN service, E-Tree service, E-Access, uh, well understood. One thing that's that is important to realize that these are actually end-to-end -end service concepts. So they're going from one endpoint to another endpoint or multiple endpoints uh, for that matter. And that's very different than some of the other models we, uh, we see in SDN today where it's really a, a node-by-node uh, understanding of the service. And so I think the MEF is in, in, in a fantastic position right now because at the end of the day, what the service providers are, are interested in is delivering an end-to-end -end service. They are not necessarily interested in how it's being forwarded on a hop-by-hop on a -hop basis. And so what the MEF third network initiative is all about is now creating um, again, data models, service data models, and machine programmable APIs that automate the provision, provisioning and maintenance and management of these end-to-end -end services. And so we've actually at Vitesse already done a lot of that work in creating APIs uh, like NetConf and, and JSON RPC that can program these MEF services end to end. And uh, we're very excited now that the, th that the MEF started the third network initiative to contribute to that and really um, get an, a common and open definition of these service data models and APIs as part of the third network initiative. Um, this all sounds very SDN centric, uh, but actually there is an NFV play as well. And uh, if you really think about um, the different processing functions throughout the network, how they actually need to be interconnected, processors want to be interconnected at layer two, the Ethernet layer, uh, in order so they can actually see each other, communicate with each other. And that's actually independent of what the underlying, underlying network is. Uh, so using MEF layer two service co concepts to interconnect processors is actually probably a really, really good way to operationalize NFV in a service provider environment. And we're really excited to see how we can drive that uh, in the MEF as part of the third network initiative and make MEF much bigger than just delivering Ethernet services to customers. Okay, now tell me, what is Vitesse doing to help support the emergence of SDN and NFV? What Vitesse is doing to support the emerging SDN and NFV market are two things. First of them is really create those machine programmable uh, APIs and the underlying data models so that our switch engines can actually be uh, programmed uh, by open source SDN controllers. Uh, that actually work is largely completed or, or underway. Um, just as an example, our uh, CE services uh, turnkey uh, software has already been integrated into uh, an open source SDN controller, Open Daylight, and uh, is actually now with some of our customers in carrier trials for SDN and NFV. Uh, so that work is, is well underway um, and uh, I just need to mention that that work actually goes way beyond just programming forwarding functions, packet forwarding functions. Um, we can actually program QoS uh, capabilities, OEM uh, operations, administration, maintenance functions that are important for a service provider in environment and actually create uh, MEF CE 2.0 services 
right out of an open daylight controller. The second area where we focus on is really on how can we help um, to accelerate and enhance performance of processors and processing functions in an NFV environment. I mentioned before that the, the network processing functions will be actually distributed throughout the network and you actually have to interconnect them with each other and then with the customers eventually to create a service. And so that does not have, that should never become a bottleneck in an NFV environment. And so the, the Vitesse switch engines are very often used by our processing processor partners to accelerate the networking functions going in and out of a processor uh, and get optimal line rate performance as these processing functions are being connected to each other and the customer. Martin, thank you for having us here. I appreciate you taking the time. It was a pleasure talking to you. Mm -hmm.